Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What is going on, fifth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 16. So before we get started, let's make sure that you have your worksheet that you need for today. If you're like, wait, we need a worksheet? I want you to check out the link below or somewhere around this video. It will take you to my website where you can download the worksheets that you need for this episode along with the other episodes in this series. So go ahead, do that, and then I want you to pause the video and solve number one and number two on your own. You're gonna throw down your your best. You're going to pretend like this is the test and then you're going to come on back to check your work because after all this is a safe place for you to make mistakes and for you to learn and grow. So go ahead, give it your best shot and then come on back and see me. All right, everybody, welcome back. So here we are with number one. And let's go ahead and identify that question type first. I'm seeing four answer choices. So what kind of question do you think this is? It's a multiple choice. You right, you right. All right, jot that down if you have not already. Oh, I'm noticing something. This, which of the following is a value for the expression one third divided by nine? That needs a question mark, not a period. It's a question. All right, let me read that again slowly, okay? I just <laughs> Which of the following is a value or an amount for the expression, which means that there is no equal sign, one third divided by nine? Okay, so with fractions, we have four different operations that we could do, right? We add, subtract, multiply, and, and divide. Now, when you add or subtract fractions, your denominators must match. When you add or subtract, your denoms must match. When you multiply, you just flag across and multiply. But here is division. And for division, we keep, change, and flip. Okay? So keep, change, flip. That means we're going to keep the first fraction. We're gonna change the sign to multiplication and we're gonna flip nine. So nine used to be nine over one technically. We're gonna flip it around to be the reciprocal, which is one ninth. Try to say that, reciprocal, yeah. Okay, now that we're multiplying, we just fly across and multiply. So one times one is one. And three times nine is, we got those nines. Nine, 18, 27, that's right. That doesn't rhyme. All right, so which answer matches 1 27th? D, and also I'm noticing that there's a one in the numerator. 
just a little extra. That's called a unit fraction when there's one. The way that we could have drawn this out too, though, would have been like this, okay? If we had something and we said, all right, here's one third, so let me break it into thirds, and I'm going to shade in one third. And then we took that one third and divided it by nine. Watch how I do that. Okay, not nine like that, that's just three, that's one, two, three. I'm actually gonna put nine slices, one. Okay, so, choop, choop, choop. So now if we divided one third by nine, one of those little tiny pieces that we just made would be one out of 27. Okay, and that's how, that's how you can represent it with a drawing as well. All right, go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make. Maybe you want to jot down this model, and then I want you to join me for number two. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Um, confession, I was actually watching Scooby Doo this morning. It happened to be on the TV. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to admit that, but yeah, Scooby Doo was on my TV, and therefore Scooby Doo made it to the problem because Scooby Doo is pretty rad. I have to admit, I love solving the mysteries for Scooby Doo. Y'all know you're gonna go home and watch Scooby-Doo now, watch this. <laughs> okay, so let's identify the question type first. Well, I see boxes with answer choices in it. That means I'm going to fill in some statements. So this is an editing task. All right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and read it. scooby dooby doo bakes for cakes. That could be kind of messy because Scooby-Doo is very clumsy, kind of like me in the kitchen. Uh, maybe that's why I like Scooby-Doo so much. All right, so he bakes four cakes and he cuts. Usually cuts means that we're splitting or dividing. He cuts each cake into equal slices, yep. So that each slice represents one sixth of the entire cake. I wanna draw that out real quick. So he bakes four cakes. One, two, three, four. You could have made them rectangular cakes too. And then he cuts them into equal slices so that each slice represents one sixth. Kind of like that. And there we go. That way each slice represents one sixth of the cake. Complete the statements below to determine how many slices, so how many slices of cake does Scooby-Doo have? How many slices of cake Scooby-Doo has? I think it's so funny I put Scooby-Doo in this problem. Uh, okay, fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. Okay, so to, 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 to determine the number of slices, Scooby-Doo, this is getting official now, Scooby-Doo can use the following expression to solve. Okay, so we had four cakes total. We took those four cakes and we cut them into one sixth each, so each one was one sixth. So we need to pick this one right here because we knew the total and we divided it out. It wasn't four groups with one six shaded, so we can eliminate that in this one. We're not taking this one little piece and dividing it into four pieces. We know the total was four and we're dividing it into six, so it should be A. So therefore, the number of cake slices is what? Well. Here's the four cakes, and then he cuts it up, so that would be 6, 12, 18, 24, right? 24 slices. And now if we use that same thing of keep, change, flip, sorry, I wrote a multiplication sign there, that would be four over one that we keep, change it to multiplication, flip it around, multiply across, four times six is what? 24, one times one is one and 24 divided by one would be 24. So yes, D, it makes sense mathematically and it makes sense with our picture. So both ways we are right. All right, at this time, go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make to your paper. And then I wanna point you in the direction of some more helpful videos to help you really master dividing with fractions. All right, fifth grade. So the very first link that I want you to pay attention to is the link for McCarthy Math 155 
check out unit six. So you are gonna need to become a member in order to see these videos, or you can grab yourself a free seven day trial to see the videos. I definitely encourage you to check it out for free. Why would you not wanna check it out for free? Um, go ahead and unit six is all the different operations with fractions. So we've got adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Just find the one that you know that you need more help with and there should be tons of videos for each one with the worksheet right there next to it so you can follow along with me. The next link that I'll provide is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series, which you can find on YouTube. It's for the same standard that we worked on today. So if you know you need more help, you should totally check that out. Now just keep in mind, this series was created several years ago and it's based on the computerized test. So the questions, they look a little bit different, still standards based and you still should check it out just know that it looks a little different which is why i made the math fsa boot camp series to reflect the paper-based test i don't know what i'm trying to do with this you heard me singing a little bit of the multiplication mashup so i'll make sure i include a link to that and also i'd love for you to stay in the know with me and follow me on one of my platforms i'm on instagram and facebook at mccarthy math academy and you can also find me on youtube at McCarthy Math Academy. If you are watching from YouTube, if you could go ahead and smash that like button, that would be super awesome. Not just because it makes me feel good, but because it supports my mission. You see, I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for as many students as possible. Y'all, I'm tired of students struggling and not getting the help that they deserve. That's why I wanna create as many videos as I can to support you all. So, when you smash that like button, you are bringing more people to watch the videos and therefore you are helping so many people. So thank you so much for doing that. It's not for me, it's for y'all. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a reason. That's right, you are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness. And you always have that choice, so choose it. And I will see you all. That is it. And I will see you all on the next episode. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait.